Hi, I'm Miss Satrina Odyssey. Today you might be thinking, oh no, another girl standing in a hallway, she's just gonna talk for five minutes, but no, this is different. I'm a toy collector, and let me start off with the disclaimer saying that toy collecting is a hobby and has nothing to do with mental disorders, and I don't think you'll find toy collecting anywhere in the DSM. So anyway, I am a doll collector. I've been collecting dolls since I was, I don't know, a toddler. And I always realize that their bodies are not realistic. As you grow up and change, you realize that, hey, nobody looks like a Barbie. And they've made changes in recent years, like the plus size Kirby Barbies and stuff like that, and the petite Barbies and things. But I just wanted to showcase today for both males and females what dolls are showing our youth about body image and body standards, and I've included both some male and female dolls today, and they're on an emergency wheelchair in a hallway because I'm at school. I don't exactly have a camera person. So let's start with one of my favorites. My favorite doll series is Monster High by far, and this is LED. She's the daughter of the robots. I've always had an obsession with robots, and but if you look at her, I think she needs a robot sandwich. Look at that face. I mean, she's way too skinny. And this kind of thing shows that only women that look like this, and who on earth can wear those shoes? I'm sorry, my feet would be dead after like two minutes. But um, this shows that only a woman that's this thin, that looks like she's about to drop dead, can wear something that, like a cape and a cage and stuff. This shows that fashion, like the highest fashion is saved for skinny women, and in the fashion industry this still proves true. Now, for some equality, let's move on to a Monster High gentleman. My favorite of the Monster High males, Heath Burns. He's a fire elemental. I love fire elementals. They're spirits and new age beliefs. Um, and he, I have to say, and the other Monster High boys, I mean, look at those thighs and stuff. They really do have the bodies of 13-year-old girls. And which I think is really creepy because I would never date a guy who's this thin. It's scary. I mean, look at his face. I mean, look at man, <laughs> man thigh gap. That's just frightening. His legs are like absolute toothpicks. I just don't get it, but I like his hair. He's got nice hair. And that jacket, I'd wear it. Um, now, Bumblebee from the DC Comics Girls. This one's a bit more progressive because it portrays women as being strong instead of just simply fashionable and skinny. She's got some muscles in her forearms, which I really like. Um, let's see her body here, just a minute, sorry about that. Yeah, she's kind of built, which I like. She's got a little bit of a thigh gap, but it's not like exaggerated. She just looks like a workout person, like someone who exercises every day, and I like the feet. I'm a size 12, I can relate to those feet, Bumblebee. Uh, she's got good hair, look at that. So she's a little bit more progressive, um, except that most people are not this physically fit. Most people aren't superheroes in training, so they don't have time to exercise this much. Um, okay. This is a Barbie fashionista petite. I call her Sia because she looks like my favorite most empowering singer, Sia. Um, she is the petite virgin, love that lace, I believe. And I like how, just a minute, I like how she's not like super thin in the middle. She looks fit, but for the most part, she looks normal. Let's check that thigh gap. Not too exaggerated. But still, especially shorter women are often curvier because um, they often gain more weight easily. So I don't think that a thigh gap this size, unless she works out a lot, or yeah, is that possible? Maybe, I don't know. She looks kind of average. I don't know. I'm just used to Barbies being really discriminating against size. So now, speaking of... Barbies and size diversity, where are you? Sorry about that. Um, Barbies and size diversity. I have two of these. I have one, the Sweetheart Stripes with the blue hair, and this one, 
I named her Armanda. She's the spring into style version. Now this is probably my favorite of the new Barbies because look, she's got really nice curvy thighs there. No gap, nothing. She kind of looks like she's trying a bit too hard to hide her curvy legs. I have the same figure as her, so I often do wear like a dress with a tight top that like flares out at the bottom, but because I'm tall that doesn't really work well. And the ruffles and stuff. The Sweetheart Stripes version, who I didn't bring today because I was bringing too many dolls, she is has kind of like a tight skirt and like a pleat on her top. She looks like she is also trying a little too hard to hide her body, but I think this is very progressive. The feet are a little small. Um, this is very progressive in terms of Barbies. And I was so happy to see these because I was like, oh my gosh, I have a Barbie body. Um, now, our last doll here is another gentleman. He is a water play Steven. Um, I don't feel like taking his clothes off, but as you can see, his jacket is so tight over his abnormally large biceps that he can't even pr properly put his arms down. Most men are not so ripped that they can't fit a suit jacket over their biceps. And I don't know if you can see, but all the Kens have this V-shaped body with the narrow waist and stuff, and not all men look like this. There was a thing online that men were saying they wanted to make Kens that looked like real men, which would be really interesting because I don't want a guy that looks like plastic. I don't know about you. He's good looking, but he's... I don't want a guy whose suit jacket is bursting over his biceps because that's just a little bit creepy. Let's straighten your tie there, bucko. There we go. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, in the comments section below, let me know what you thought. Again, sorry for the crappy camera technique. I'm getting new with my selfie stick. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this dolls and body image video. It's something to think about of what dolls are showing our youth. And I hope that in the future they'll make a Monster High doll who's a bit more curvy. I've been doing some fan, like artwork based on Monster High, making Japanese monsters who are curvy because I think that's how women should be portrayed because the skinny stereotype is just icky. It's like, here, here's a sandwich, take it, eat it. Mm -hmm. Don't go near me until you eat it. So anyway, so please let me know what you thought and thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.